I'm Lisa Caddo reporting for the Archaeology Podcast Network at EAA Glasgow and I've got someone here with me. Would you introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Professor Howard Williams of the University of Chester uh, and I'm here um, promoting my journal that I edit the, for the Royal Archaeological Institute, which is called The Archaeological Journal. Um, so it's got a, we've got the best title. It's been going since 1844, but now we're in a partnership with Routledge, and we've got the journal online, and we're promoting it. I've got a Meet the Editor session in half past twelve today, and so I'm trying to drum up support. It's a well-established journal, and trying to make people aware that it's now fully compatible online with all the latest gizmos and the Routledge accessible stuff and uh, Sherpa Romeo Green, and just trying to get the word out there today. That's wonderful. So in terms of the journal, what kind of submissions are you looking for? Like, What are some areas or okay. topics? Well, the Archaeological Journal is one of the rare journals that is cross-period. So we do everything from the Paleolithic to the contemporary past. In terms of um, the length of piece we're submitting, we will accept anything from 5,000 word standard journal articles up to 20,000 word surveys, fieldwork reports, excavation project reports so we are doing the full range uh, we do color online and in print we do digital supplementary material so you can produce really chunky reports and get them into the archaeological journal the RAI a London based 1844 established society um, the geographical restriction is they will mainly interested in these islands or whatever politically correct term you use not allowed to use British Isles I'm told but these islands but also near continent across North Sea, things that relate to the archaeology from the Paleolithic through to uh, the 21st century, really. So that's really wide open. Recent journal issues, we've had uh, Second World War training landscapes in, um, in, in Suffolk through to um, excavations of... Um, Neolithic chamber tombs in southwest Scotland, through to looking at Irish um, Irish uh, Mott and Bailey castles, through to looking at um, um, you know sort of a whole range of different sort of multi-period landscape studies. So we do everything: data, uh, heavy theory, debate pieces. It's all anything, and so it's it's a weird journal in that sense. But our focus is geographical of these islands, and that's what makes us different from many of the other journals that are being cross. Yeah, you know, chronological, but they're but they are very much trying to do world archaeology or European archaeology. So.